Hey what's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you step by step exactly how to build this miniature X-Wing. This is a follow on video from how to build a miniature TIE Fighter video. If you haven't seen that I will leave a link to it in the description so once you've done with the X-Wing you can go and check that one out. Firstly though this isn't my design but the creator was kind enough to let me show it off for you today. So a big thank you to him, and I've also got his Instagram and Rebrickable linked in the description, where you can check out the instructions for all his other mocks. So starting off with all the pieces, you'll need a total of 41. Colours aren't particularly important, I chose mine in accordance to what I thought looked good, as well as the colours I had available. But you will need two left facing 2x2 wedge plates, two right facing 2x2 wedge plates, two 1x2 rounded plates with open studs, one 1x1 one one plate, four regular studs, four 1x1 one one tiles with open O-clips, eight 1x1 one one plates with horizontal U-clips, one 1x2 one slopes, four flick missiles, one 1x2 one with studs on both sides, one 1x3 one plate, one 1x2 one plate, one 1x1 one one with a vertical U-clip, a further four 1x1 one one plates, this is in a different colour, two 1x1 one one tiles, one 2x1 one plate, this is going to be your accent colour I guess you could call it, but to go along with that you need one stud of the same colour, and last but not least a 1x1 one one transparent slope, and I'm using a dark tinted one which I'd highly recommend. I will leave the written list of pieces as the pinned comment of this video so you can refer to that if you'd like to. But now let's get building. First you'll need your 1x2 brick with studs on both sides and on top of that you want to put a 1x1 white plate on the back stud. In front of that place a 1x2 white plate so that it's hanging off of the edge like this. Next grab a 1x1 one one white plate and attach it below the stud which is hanging over the edge. And below that again you want to attach a 1x3 white plate like so. What you want to do now is grab your transparent slope and place it on this stud. Behind that place a 1x1 one one white plate. Now we need to grab both of our accent pieces, in my case I'm using red. So starting off with the stud, place it on top of the 1x1 one one white plate which you just put down. The 1x2 one plate goes on top of these two studs like this. Next place the 1x2 one slope on the end, and below that place your last remaining 1x1 one one white plate. Once your build looks like this, grab one of the 1x1 one one white tiles and put it on top of the visible red stud. Now take the white 1x1 one one plate with the vertical U-clip and place it right at the back of the build. On top of that you want to put your last 1x1 one one white tile on it. To finish off this main part of the build, grab your grey 1x1 one one plate, turn the build upside down and place this in the centre of the white 1x3. And that is the main part done. For the wings you want to start with the curved grey 1x2, turn it upside down and put two grey studs into it. Turn it back the right way up and grab two flick missiles. As the curved 1x2 is open studded, the ends of the flick missiles snap straight in without a problem. To attach this to the main build we need two 1x1 one one tiles with open O clips. Attach these to the flick missiles quite close to the curved 1x2. Before we attach this, make another one for the other side. I'll speed this up to save a bit of time. Now that they're both done, we're going to attach these with the bottom clip going onto the back stud on either side. Now for the actual wings, take one right facing wedge plate, flip it so it's facing this direction and then grab two 1x1s one one with horizontal U-clips. Place these clips so that they're facing in these directions. 
Once that's been done correctly, grab a left facing wedge plate and another two of the same clips. Flip the wedge plate so that it looks like this and put the clips facing in these directions. So we don't get all the wings mixed up, I'm going to attach these ones to the main part of the build. They're both bottom wings, so attach one to either side, making sure the triangular side is facing towards the back. Now grab another right facing wedge plate along with two clips. Don't flip the wedge plate this time, but make sure the triangular side is facing towards the back. Put both clips on, facing them in these directions. Now grab the last three pieces, there should be one left facing wedge plate and two clips. Like last time, don't flip the wedge plate, but make sure that the triangular side is facing away from you and place the clips pointing in these directions. Finally, attach these wings to the build, once again making sure the triangular side is facing towards the back. If you would like to, you can prop this up, I've just used a few transparent pieces to do so. And there we have it, one completed miniature X-Wing. Once again, a big thank you to the designer for letting me show his creation off, all links to him and all of his other instructions are in the description. If you followed along and built your own, feel free to tag me in either Twitter or Instagram, at BrickCentralYT on Twitter, or at Brick underscore Central underscore YT on Instagram, but links to my social medias are also listed in the description. But that is going to do it for today, if you would like to see more videos like this, where I show you how to build mocks, then let me know by leaving a like on the video. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.